Richard Wagner's prelude to the third act of Lohengrin. So what's important here is rhythm and intonation. But we can say that for any piece that we play. Uh, what's important for this is to really study the harmonies. So we have the D7 chord. D dominant. Okay, so study those chords, uh, A minor seventh, the last one, and you should really, really work on the triplets. Study the triplets and know that those triplets, <clears throat> at the correct tempo, uh, you might have to triple tongue them. You might have to triple tongue those 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 tr uh, triplets. I do myself at that speed. So you have to know how the piece starts out. So know your tempo before you play it, and at that speed. Now you may be able to single tongue it, but to get it really clean, most people have to triple tongue it. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind, and a lot of subdivision. Boom, boom, like that. So a lot of subdivision, and I use a technique called attack and response. Um, that you can learn more about on my website on LSE Music Studios. But basically, what it is is when you have a long note, you are filling in the gap, filling in the gaps with uh, subdivision. So you're not playing a long note and then resolving to the next note without any um, accountability. So you have to be very accountable uh, when you play a long note and resolve it or you have a rest. <laughs> 